Hi, I'm Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk with you about opening QVX files. Now, QVX files are data files or database files that uh, were created by the uh, ClickView people, which is ClickTech. Um, it's a file that's made of uh, XML and the actual data. It's kind of a, a special file type um, that you don't open it by itself. It's really a kind of a a data source file that's made for non-conventional data sources. Um, <clears throat> you can open it from within the Qlik View project manager, which you can get for free. Um, so if you see here, I've got a project right here. I'm going to open up the file. I've got a QVX demo file right there. So now it's open, and then you have to go into the, you can go into the text editor to edit the script. And there you'll see in here some references to this file. Um, it's the currency exchange.qvx file. So you, you actually don't open it up um, when you use it by itself. It's not like in QVX where you can open up a project file of different file types. They don't have, there is no QVX file in there. It's all different types of, uh, of files that are projects and whatnot in HTML, but not uh, QVX. So anyway, that's how you open it up in, uh, in uh, ClickView. You can also, if you're really curious about what it contains, is you can open it up within a text editor. Any text editor can open up the file, and you can see the uh, XML data here if you're curious about that. And then down at the bottom, you can see there's uh, the actual binary data that you really can't make heads or tails of with the uh, text editor. That's where a nice hex editor comes in, you can open that same file up um, and in a hex editor and you can see the actual data down there. So if you want to poke around to see uh, you know, what the data is, that's one way of doing it, by using a hex editor and a text editor. So um, you can also go to their website where you can get a free download of the Click view application and all the documentation on how to use it and they also have another a wonderful uh, support community page where you can learn more about it so really just go to the click view website and uh, you can get a lot more information and really become uh, adept at using this so I'm Matthew Pierce today we talked about how to open up uh, QVX files thanks for watching